Oh my god, on the road, have you ever done some last minute uh, packing? And uh, you know you guys got guys waiting for you. In my case, uh, Laurie and Roger at the gas station. I couldn't find my glasses. I swear it took me about 15 minutes uh, to find them. And then last uh, last thing, I suddenly realised I know it's going to be a really sort of wet and soggy uh, campground that we're going to. So I quickly found uh, a bit of wood to be a foot, but I just had to, to shorten it with a a handsaw. So anyway, that's all done and uh, we're on the road, good as gold. Now, I'm late to the gas station, but we're pulling through a place called Leninus, which I've always been meaning to uh, take some photos of some street art. And I'm just gonna <laughs> do this little detour through here, check some of this out. Oh, I do need to come back. Little back street of GI. Okay, let's get in the way. Ah, oh, she's heavy. Look at it. Well, we're on the southern motorway out of Auckland. And the sooner we get out of here, the better. Poor Laurie has got a breakdown on the trusty old KLR. We think it might have a head gasket. It's got water in the uh, oil and oil in the uh, water. I'm just talking to myself, Roger. <laughs> right yeah. Oh, what a bummer. Poor Laurie, this is, it's gutting, eh, when you want to get out there, mate, and, uh, and you've got a bit of brown water there. And we we'll look it up, and then, of course, you look at the uh, sight glass there. She's brown and cloudy, which suggests you can see that all of the water have gotten together a bit. And uh, I don't know. But I've looked up in the heat gasket, it might be part of the issue, but it's looking like a recovery. Now we're taking the the road that sort of goes around the, the coast and um, sort of the, the mountain if you like on our left all the way around and this is the mountain that the uh, the guys are going to climb tomorrow it doesn't climb to any huge elevation but it will be about a seven hour trek Oh my god, check that out. <laughs> check that out. Fucking hell! Oh my god! This is a lovely road around towards Rupuki. Check this out. Beautiful. Magic through here. The Manuka canopy. Ruapuki Motor Camp. Yeah, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Mate, oh yeah, I nice see you. <laughs> and we've lost one. Yeah, yeah. Poor Laurie. 
or a bookie. Let's go and have a look outside. This is your um, uh, residence, is it? Don't worry. What are the main features? <laughs> yes, uh, big size bed for Roger. Oh, there's there's some lovely art there. Do you think that's real pokey? Uh, out there? I'll do take one step in. Oh, the, you slept on the couch, Roger, did you? The pillows are there. Like, are they? The oh, you've corner. got a bunk. Ah. So, yeah, I think that's what you... Oh, you've got your own little sort of... Um, pruning station. A pruning station. <laughs> 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 and you've got your tank bag right there. John the Duck's calling your name. It's like John's bag, John's bag. Oh, now you can calm down because he's here. You know, which might be walking up and seeing the sea. From up. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Decrepit cabin up there. You get a great view of the beach. A oh, decrepit cabin? Yeah. Wow. Oh, just like a, it's like a hut like this. Is just yeah, yeah, yeah. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like your shirt, Simon. We're just pulling out of the campsite at uh, Rupuki, and uh, what a beautiful spot. Next stop uh, we're going to is Bridal Veil vale Falls. It's a bit of touristic stuff today, nice. Nice leisurely ride, a bit of gravel, and uh, some real points of uh, interest along the way. Good night's sleep last night. I think I had about five or six hours. Check this out. This, what a great uh, area this is. In. Check that out. <laughs> realised they actually have been to Bridal Vale Falls before, in fact it was last year. It's only a small drop, it's about five metres or so. You're in the salty, mate. <laughs> Better to over deliver. Oh, right. Check that mug here. Yeah. So out in the distance there is Mount Parongia and that's where the guys are climbing and uh, this morning John and Simon got up early and uh, moved, uh, took the two cars, dropped one at one end of the track then came back, got Andy and Steve and um, they're walking it. It'll take them somewhere between four and seven hours, don't really know, it's going to be quite muddy because of all the bad weather that we've had. It should be a great walk. Roger and I are heading now towards Carthia and the Carthia Harbour. And uh, we might just duck up to the Aotea Harbour as well while we're at. Onto the gravel. Actually, I know what's happened here. This is the Aotea Harbour, I think. Oh yeah. The Aotea Harbour.
is nice variety, beautifully uh, kept as always. Titihi o Moorangi. Alright. What a lovely little road that as we sort of start towards over towards Kafia again. Lambs. <laughs> you see that skid over. Lambs are so funny. They're so playful. Such a joyous time on a farm when you see the lambs playing around. Upper reach of the Kafia Harbour. We plan the ride, ride the plan. We're going to duck up to the uh, the Aotea Harbour, which is about seven k's away to Aotea Beach. Nice. Welcome to Aotea. We've got the cafe over there, the Rusty Snapper Cafe, post office for art. And the cafe for shop, which is closed, good to know. So, nice place. Should we, should we do that? Should we go and get a coffee at that place on the left? On the way out? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Roadhouse. I reckon we stop here for a quick bite. You want to grab a quick pile or something here? Bite here. Yeah, because I'm not sure um, where else there uh, is before we uh, come back. This is sort of last. Hurrah. Country pies, piss off, again, duck thing, whatever. Is that called? where we are now? King Country. Must be. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we probably are actually. Ultra Hunger is King Country. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beautiful steak pie. Hatoru School Hall. Oh. So, when I did that uh, ride the other day, down to Awakino and Maricopa and, and stuff came back this way. But in the other direction. And as you'd know, things often look quite different in the other direction. And in fact, oh this is just beautiful through here. Hopefully you can uh, see up, up there. See that sandstone. No sandstone formations. Actually, we're going to see some cool uh, sandstone formations soon, I think. There's about three points of interest all in a row. There's Maricopa Falls, and, uh, and then there's a cave, starting with P. PP Caves, I think it's called, or something. Or PEP Caves. And, um, and then there is a natural bridge, which is um, like sandstone. Like Matanui Bay here. Check out the scenery through here. And uh, oh, actually, that's the little road there I ducked up onto to, to take the photo looking down here the other day. I was trying to take in this wool shed and the, um, the stunning views through here. Check out this farm. And some of these farms just have the most staggering outlook. Look at the sort of the bushland, the sort of the ferns going up there on the hills, farmhouse, wool shed, check out this wool shed, I thought the old wool shed overlooking our farm was amazing but I think that one 
just trumps it. Beautiful kind of um, bushland, or sort of, it's not really sort of too bushy, but it's you know, a lot of ferns and stuff. It's sort of the valley poking out through there. Ho, ho, ho. Are you appreciating it, cows? Okay, so I wonder if that's Maricopa Falls up there. You can sure <laughs> see a wall of whiteness through the trees. And, uh, now we're going to the Piri Piri Cave Walk. On our left, 800 metres. Piri Piri Cave, Scenic Reserve. Fortunately, you've got your uh, jacket on there, so I can see you down there. You can put a light on by chance. And now we're going to the Manga Pahui natural bridge. So anyway, now we're um, about 14 k's up the road. There is a back road to Hatou Taro that we're going to take. So it's probably about 40 or 50 k's of gravel, I think. Should be quite scenic. And we might get the drone up. And here it is here. This is us. This is stunning through here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Uh, oh my flipping god, check that out. Now we're coming out to this little river valley. And the road brings us out to Hauturu itself. It's Kafia Road towards, I oh know we're on Tomata now. We're getting there. Campground's like 26 kilometers away. Another beautiful road, but I must admit, I'm getting over it. I'm sure Roger's the same. Looking forward to getting to the campsite and having cracking a beer. Some lake or reservoir down there. What's that? bit like yesterday on the way in. Well, Callum's nearly killed me, but we didn't fall off. No, mate, we did well. It was good. Outstanding. This is a fucking 150k of gravel road. 150k. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would have been. And some of it wasn't very nice gravel road. <laughs> What's that? No, it was some of the view. Stunning, stunning view. The, the scenery was amazing. Waterfalls, cave, we got off and saw a waterfall, a cave, oh. a natural, natural bridge. bridge. <laughs> 
the guys had also had an awesome trek up to the top of Mount Kariori, which had been quite challenging in places, uh, but really worthwhile when you see the spectacular views from the top. A good night was then had at the Harbour View Hotel in Raglan, uh, watching the All Blacks lose to Argentina. Uh, pulling out of the campground now, and we're going to go down to, to Ruapoki Beach and uh, may get the drone up. So this has to be the road down. Lovely. Won't be the safest uh, swimming beaches, as they say. Always quite a few surfers out there. Here we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, <laughs> you wouldn't read about it really. I mean, well, you probably would. Uh, bad news on the drone. So I had it set up, ready to do the first beautiful beach scene. And uh, I'm going to call it a rogue wave. Came in and it literally was at the moment that I was about to press takeoff. It was like simultaneous with that moment. And uh, I must have looked up and uh, the water went over the drone. Salt water, sand, you name it. Oh my god. So uh, the drone is uh, drowned in seawater, which is probably in sand which is probably about the worst combination that you can get, I would imagine. Just for drone rescue. From Seawood. Where it's all the components, and I know this isn't uh, distilled water, obviously. So we just turned off. And uh, we're doing a slightly different uh, trip now. What with the stuffing around with the drone and uh, what have you, it's uh, we've sort of wasted a bit too much time. So I'm going to do the full Western leg. We'll save that for doing that with Laurie. Uh, but instead, we are still going to go to the Nikau Cafe, but we're taking the direct route, route there. Lovely scenes. You can see the uh, the landforms around this road. There's a little creek sort of beneath us to the right. Oh my goodness, it's it's quite a um, natural wonder. Ah, some pancake-like erosion, if you like. There we go, up there too. Hmm. The Teatatu Point that we're going to go, we were going to go to, um, that had those sort of pancake-like structures as well. Oh, it's got some bikers there. 
Oh, you got quite a range. That was the Nico Cafe. Well, it's uh, quite a biker hangout, the uh, the Nico Cave and Cafe there. And uh, it was really nice catching up with uh, a colleague in the uh, my industry, Philip, riding a um, multi strata. He was he was there. And uh, the amazing thing was though, uh, meeting Paul and I think Jane both on KTM's who uh, recognised the Motogas channel. It was very nice um, seeing them. So that, that was awesome. On the way up to uh, Port Waikato. Look at that! Look at this! More amazingness in terms of uh, scenery. It's got that green like an old Microsoft uh, screensaver. I just love these uh, landscapes with these exposed sandstone uh, rocks. Be a nice place for a lifestyle block. I think I just come out and look at the rocks. A bit of mindfulness. Maybe some yoga in front of them or something. My new how. This is a magnificent, nice little sort of loop to do on a ride. Go down around the uh, the mountain Kariori where the um, campground was, and uh, then back up this whole sort of coastal road. What a great day trip! Stop for a nice cafe or a nice coffee and a and a pie or an omelette or something if you're a bit more fancy. These people have got the right idea. They got set up a few years ago. Like this is luxury, and check this out. Oh my goodness, it's just like you're in a stadium. Oh my goodness, a couple of valleys connect. Little gouged out creeks at the bottom. Some of Earth's wonders right there for you. Let's make the most of this night. Come on, baby, take my view of the nice little convenience store on the left down here in a second. Well, I reckon that that'll probably be it. It's been a bloody good weekend down to Ruapuki Campground with John, Andy, Simon, Steve and Roger and unfortunately no Laurie. Um, hopefully Laurie gets a new bike out of it. <laughs> that's only, you know, that's only if you can't fix the KLR but uh, I think that uh, Laurie might have his eye on another bike already. So we'll wait and see if that happens and what that is. But uh, yeah, that, that KLR is a mighty old machine. It's awesome. And uh, be sorry not to have it on some of these missions. Cheers for that. And uh, cheers for watching. See you next time. Much appreciated. Okay, bye for now.